How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. It's me again. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing that beer review earlier. So I decided to come back and do another. But this is a twofer. Um, I had mentioned to some of you that I had bought some new beer glasses. Got Blue Moon and Line and Kugel Shandy glass. Uh, two of each. So, in honor of that, I will be reviewing Kugel's Barry Weiss and Blue Moon's Mango Wheat. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go with the liney. Where are? Where is my trusty bottle opener? Right here it is. Bam. Again, these were the individual selections from my local HEB. Barry Weiss. Oh, that's very good. That was punny and stupid of me to say that. This is a 4.7% alcohol brew. And if I just make out the print here, brewed with honey... Blackberry juice and natural berry flavors. This should be interesting. Oh, nice color. As I've said on several different occasions, I have never had a bad liney. Never. And, uh,. Let's see how this holds up. It has a kind of a, like a little bit of a purplish tint. Like you can see the berry juice in it. This should be beyond interesting. And the smell is like pungently berryful, berry ish. It smells like something you'd smell in a four loco or something. I don't know. Who's looking up your address? Oh my god, that's delicious. That's friggin' delicious. It's got like a, a, a tartness to it. Definitely a, a, a berry sweetness. Tart. There's no bitterness in it. It's it's uh wow. <laughs> wow. Surprisingly tart and sweet at the same time. From the tip of the tip of the tongue to the back of the throat, man, it's just one steady ride of just flavor, deliciousness, refreshing. I like it. Holy crow, I like it. I was already pretty much sold that I was going to like it just because it was a line in Google. But it is going above and beyond my wildest expectations. Oh man, you gotta get you some of this. I ain't even joking. If sweet beers are not your thing, steer clear. I'm saying that right now. There is a, a, a definite sweetness to this. If, uh, if you're part of that tribe that says nah, beer is not supposed to be sweet, steer completely clear, you're not going to get into this. You're going you're gonna to probably say that it's tainted with syrup or something. Um, it's not overly sweet, but it's definitely got a sweetness to it. And uh, I'm digging it. I like it. The tart isn't too heavy. The tartness from it is, isn't too heavy, but it's just enough to keep that sweetness tamed a little bit.
Naughty little bear, I think it's trying to say something. <coughs> Drinking it a little too fast gets me a little gassy. What can I say? <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, man. Liney, you've done it again. You naughty, naughty little Liney. Wow. I would love to give that a 10. But that might be exaggerating the case a little bit. I give it a 9. It definitely earns a 9. All day. Line and Kugel, Barry Weiss. Barry White. I can make your toenails curl. Barry Weiss. 9. I wish I had a little something to kind of take that flavor out now. Bread or crackers or something. But I don't. So I'm just going to let that ease down a little bit. Blue Moon Mango Wheat Brewers Select. Crafted with ripe mango. Or mango. I don't care how you say it, we both know what we're talking about, so, and I like mango. And I've had wheat beers before, and those are pretty good. Oh, that's all mango, dude. Wow, man. That smells like a fresh peeled mango. Not even exaggerating. Man, I cannot wait to get into this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's almost like they poured mango juice in your nectar. Now, blue moons are hit and miss for me. I've had good ones. I've had not so great ones. But uh, this looks promising. I'm really digging the color on that. I want to try something here. Ah, see, before I was going from the back and it made it look like it was weird and green but lighting it from the bottom now you can really see the that non-filtered goodness and that beautiful color yes sir that's nice oh man I'm really savoring this this smells delicious. Lechaim. Hmm, okay. That's pleasant. It's not heavy on the mango flavor, but it's very pleasant. It's like if you took mango nectar and really watered it down. You could taste mango, but it's not going to be like super, super potent. But that aroma plays off the nose really nicely. And then it adds to your little tongue experience. So yeah, it, it, makes, its, it makes itself seen. In a very nice way. Oh, it's good. It is really good. The wheat is uh, it's a nice touch. It really smooths it out. Completely smooths it out. And uh, 
it it marries those two flavors of mango and beer together very nicely so I don't know if this was a limited edition no idea this is a 5.4 percent alcohol brew but as I said it's crafted with ripe mangoes and uh, it shows definitely mmm good stuff I should have lit up the bottom of this other glass so you could see that purple tinge yes I know I'm belching a lot what do you want I'm a human being I'm imperfect gassy beer makes me gassy what do you want I'm trying to be nice I'm trying to be polite Well, like I said, blue moons for me are usually hit or miss. That was a hit. Most definitely. I give that one a solid 8. But that line of Google Berry Weiss was surprisingly good. I mean, I expected it to be good, but not that good. And it was that good. So I give it a, a modest, yet very well earned 9. And, uh, the Blue Moon Mango Wheat, an 8. So if you run across these at your local market, give it a shot. If they sell it in individual bottles, definitely get at least one. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, are sweet beers really not your thing? Um, totally understandable. Some people just want beer to taste like beer. You know, six pack of Natty Lights, and, and that's what they're looking for. And I respect that. That's cool. Everybody has their own thing when it comes to beer taste and beer drinking. I like to treat each beer like an experience. Um, my goal when drinking a beer, and I'm, pr I'm probably going to turn a lot of people off to this, but uh, my goal is not is is not always to get drunk. Okay, I'm not looking to get buzzed or drunk or anything like that. I want to experience the beer itself. I want to experience. Uh, the flavor, the taste, the the work that went into it, the crafting. Um, does it agree? Does all that hard work pay off at the end of the day and agree with my palate? That's what I want to find out. Um, I can get a six pack of anything with like five percent alcohol per beer, drink six of those real quick and get a nice rowdy buzz, or even get a little drunk. But that's not what I'm in it for. So that's why I've got eight different ones. And uh, each one is a new experience. And I was happy to share this experience with each and every one of you who take the time to watch these videos. I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, thanks for the encouragement. Thanks for the kind words. Thanks for the, for the views. Um, you guys are, are the best. You guys are absolutely the best. And I appreciate you to no end. So thanks for joining me, guys. Remember, Line and Kugel Berry Weiss and Blue Moon Mango Wheat 9 8. Both worth a try. Till next time, guys, take care, and I'll be talking to you all real soon.